photosynthesis in detail. Photosynthesis. This is a thylakoid. A thylakoid produces two things for photosynthesis. NADPH and ATP. After the production of the NADPH and ATP in thylakoid, then it's sent to the stroma. Just like the car factory where all the basic car stuff is done, it's sent to the big factory to put all together. So the thylakoid sent NADPH and ATP to the stroma to put the rest together to make sugar. In the stroma, it produced sugar. So the first step occurs in the thylakoid. We're going to zoom in and take a more detailed look at it. What happens in the thylakoid? Whoa, pretty scary. Don't worry, don't freak out. It's not as hard as you think. Let's take it one step at a time. Okay, what you're looking at is the thylakoid membrane. So that whole thing in the middle, that's the membrane. This is the inside of the thylakoid. So there's the membrane, and this is the stroma, which is on the outside. You just kind of have to use your imagination. So the thylakoid would be this whole thing up here, including this membrane part. This would be the whole inside of the thylakoid. And this is on the outside, which is everything outside of the thylakoid. This, 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 and this. So all those things that are attached to the membrane, those are all proteins. There's peripheral proteins, integral protein, transmembrane proteins, but pretty much they're all proteins. Their purpose is to transport the electron. That's the proteins are for in the thylakoid. So here you have a little electron guy right there, and it's getting transport jump from protein to protein. And that's pretty much it. See, it's not that hard. This picture, it looks scary, but that's all it is. Membrane, protein, transport of electron. Which leads to its name, the electron transport chain. Amoeba joke. This is an amoeba. This is an amoeba with pom-poms. This is an amoeba octopus. This is a sleeping amoeba. So what's your amoeba doing?